always have to get a biopsy for your hair loss. Sometimes you can diagnose hair loss, uh, particularly if you're seeing a hair loss expert with clinical exam and history. Um, but even if you get a biopsy, it's not that it's not a scary invasive procedure on the scalp. It's really, we clean the skin with alcohol, we inject a little numbing medicine, and then we take a cookie cutter shaped scalpel um, about the size of a pencil eraser and take out a little plug of skin and send it to the lab. And you get one, maybe two stitches, sometimes three. And um, you know, hopefully with that specimen, a dermatopathologist who's an expert at reading hair specimens can provide some helpful information. Sometimes it's still vague, but they can usually give you the category of scarring or non-scarring, how advanced something is. It just, it can be helpful. So if you're walking around with alopecia or hair loss and you haven't had a biopsy, I would, I would insist on getting a biopsy before I would start doing a lot of those expensive treatments. So, you know, try to get as clear a diagnosis as you can.